Looks like you guys were cutting corners. That's what it looks like to me. I have no idea how my statement got out. <sighs> well, that's bullshit. There need to be answers. Secret Service Director Kimberly Cheadle has just resigned after taking heat from both sides of the aisle and the American public. Here are some of the best moments from her hearing. At any point Saturday, did the Secret Service have an agent on top of that roof? Sir, I'm sure as you can imagine that we are just nine days out from this uh, incident and there's still an ongoing investigation. And so I want to make sure that any information that we are providing so, to you so, is so factual. You, you can't, okay. This is a huge question that every American has. Why wasn't a Secret Service agent on the roof? And there have been reports that agents were supposed to be on the roof, but it was hot that day and they didn't want to be on the roof. Can you answer any of those questions? Uh, what I can tell you is that uh, there was a plan in place to provide overwatch, and we are still looking into responsibilities and who was going to provide overwatch. Uh, but the Secret Service in general, not speaking specifically to this incident, when we are providing overwatch, whether that be through counter snipers or other technology, prefer to have sterile rooftops. Only a few minutes into the hearing, and Rep. Jim Jordan was already sick of the director's inability to answer questions. You know what it looks like, director? It looks like you won't answer some pretty basic questions. It looks like you got a 9% raise and you cut corners when it came to protecting one of the most important individuals, most well-known individuals on the planet. A former president, likely the guy's going to be the next president. It looks like you guys were cutting corners. That's what it looks like to me. Is that true? I am here today because I want to answer questions but I also want to be cautious. You might want to, but you haven't answered, I don't think you've answered one question from the chairman, the ranking member, or, or me. Well, we got a lot of other people asking. We'll see if, you're, if your record improves, but right now you haven't answered, I don't think, any questions. I yield back. As crazy as AOC can be, she actually made some good points. Uh, we are currently in the midst of a, um, of, of an especially concentrated presidential campaign in the moment. Uh, that is also paired with, of course, elections happening across the country. They're happening in about 100 days. So the notion of a report coming out in 60 days when the threat environment is so high in the United States, irrespective of party, is not acceptable. And I think it's very important to understand that. This is not theater. This is not about jockeying. This is about the safety of some of the most highly targeted and valued targets internationally and domestically in the United States of America. So the idea that a report will be finalized in 60 days, let alone prior to any actionable uh, decisions that would be made is simply not acceptable. It has been 10 days since an assassination attempt on a former president of the United States, regardless of party. There need to be answers. This is probably the best part of the whole hearing. Rep. Nancy May went scorched earth on the director. So, Director Cheeto, I have a series of questions, very specific questions. I want very specific answers. Most of my questions are going to demand a yes or no answer. Do you understand? I do. Okay, my first question. Both sides of the aisle today have asked for your resignation. Would you like to use my five minutes to draft your resignation letter, yes or no? No, thank you. <clears throat> was this a colossal failure? It was a failure. Yes or no? Was it a colossal failure is the question. Yes or no? I have admitted this is a terrible This is a yes or no series of questions. Was this a colossal failure? Yes or no? Yes. Was this tragedy preventable? Yes or no? Yes. Has the Secret Service been transparent with this committee? Yes. Would you say the fact that we had to issue a subpoena to get you to show up today as being transparent, yes or no? I have always been yes eager to Yes or no, you didn't want to answer the, the question. Committee. We had to issue a subpoena to get you to show up today. That is not transparent, by the way. You stated earlier, Secret Service is not political. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, would you say leaking your opening statement to Punchbowl News Politico's playbook and Washington Post several hours before you sent it to this committee as being political, yes or no? I have no idea how my statement got out. <sighs> well, that's bullshit. Is the Secret Service fully cooperating with our committee? Yes. Okay, you say you're fully cooperating with this committee. Um, on July 15th, this committee sent you a list 
of demands of information that we wanted. Has the Secret Service provided this committee a complete list of all law enforcement personnel that were there that day? Have you done that? Have you provided a list to the Oversight Committee? Yes I, or no? I'll have to get back to you on that. <laughs> that is a no. Have you provided all audio and video recordings in your possession to this committee, as we asked on July 15th, yes or no? I would have to get back to you. That on is that. a no. You're full of shit today. Is this, was uh, this uh, attempted assassination of Donald Trump a failure of training or execution or both? I think that those are answers that we need to <laughs> Training, ex execution, or both, which one? I think those are answers. All right, how many, uh, how many Secret Service personnel have lost their jobs due to this colossal failure? At this time, none. <clears throat> how many Secret Service personnel have been required to take a refresher course on how not to let people shoot Donald Trump? Our personnel are currently operational. We are examining the facts of this investigation, and we will make the changes necessary. What time did law enforcement become aware that there was an individual on the roof with a clear line of sight to President Trump? I am still verifying timelines. Of course, uh, nine days in, you have no answers. How many minutes went by between the time law enforcement saw and took photos of crooks and the shooting? How many minutes? I am still verifying 57 timelines. 57 minutes. And finally, Rep. Marjorie Taylor Greene said everything we were thinking. Um, Ms. Cheadle, I'd like to remind you that you're under oath. The site team has a senior supervisor, an advanced team, a protective intelligence team, a counter sniper element, and detail. Who was the agent in charge? How long has she been the agent in charge? And what is her Secret Service background? So I'm not going to provide a name. Why not? You're here to answer our questions. Forum, I'm not going to provide names. Of you stated details. in your testimony, you said, I am here today to answer your questions. That is correct. Answer the question. I'm not going to provide names of our personnel. To Why not? Today. The American people are demanding these answers from you today, Ms. Cheadle. I will do the best to provide you accurate information based on the facts that I have at this time. You're not answering our questions. No. I don't believe you, and neither do the people watching this hearing. You're not doing well, as Mr. Moskowitz informed you. You have been sitting here for over three hours, and I have you know the entire country is demanding you resign and demanding that you be fired if you do not resign. Things are not going well for you. You need to answer the questions.